Yeah, we're about to cold start this bitch. Any? Oh. to the channel um can you guess what's going on behind me yeah we're about to cold start this bitch and go to work <clears throat> it's open nope hmm? all right so you haven't guessed yet basically doing part two of working with my dad unloading a car or this time we're carrying a car and you already know new trailer looks way better than the old one and we're gonna paint the rest of the truck red like the rest of the um bars and whatever red and uh yeah that's pretty much what we're doing with this uh truck i'm considering the truck basically part of the build since it's part of the channel so we're kind of, i'm trying to convince him to build the truck which is not really a bad idea to really think about it because why not just send my truck peterbilt why not anyway um i'm waiting for him to cold start it any oh all right there you go you guys once we're on the road and we're gonna get there to the dealership uh it's around nine right now we gotta get there at 10 so we gotta get the f out of here so uh yeah i'll talk to you guys when i'm there all right so i lied um yeah i'll get back to you guys right now because uh i want to talk a little bit more about the truck because i didn't really explain it on the first video so why the hell not um basically this is a 1998 Detroit 60 series uh, Peterbilt 379. It's a car hauler, obviously. And uh, yeah, what more is there to say? Oh, rebuilt engine, rebuilt turbo. So the truck, the chassis, the actual chassis of the truck is a million miles, a million and a half, I'm pretty sure. Something like that. But the engine is fresh. I think we rebuilt it like three years ago. But it's still considering, like in diesel standards, it's fresh as hell. So, that's what's going on with the truck if you were curious or anything and uh yeah the only really problem i see and i hear because i've driven it uh, i'll show you guys in uh one of these upcoming videos me driving it um the only the only really problem i know about it is the transmission is quite grindy and it's quite fucked and that's just not me and my shitty shifting that's my dad also that sometimes grinds a lot you know i mean so yeah that's just how it is Right now, he's just checking out the trailer if it's ready to go, you know. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be moving the box truck. By the way, if you missed the last video, don't miss it. If you missed the last video, go back and check it out and then come back to this one because, holy shit, that was a fun experience. I changed all eight spark plugs on it, and since it's a hat, like the engine, so like I was saying, yeah, don't miss that video because, goddamn, if you do not notice, this truck is built in a certain way so the nose isn't as long as the older you know the older more box the box style like the you know the normal obs style of fords so half of the engine is in here i believe more than half of the engine is in here meaning that you have to pull this cover off to be able to pull the spark plugs or anything basically to do work on a truck in general so that was a pain in the ass god damn i forgot i'm on, I'm on technically a farm but anyway, um, yeah, that that was a pain in the ass, but don't miss out that video. That video was pretty fire. That's enough of that. I'll get back to you guys for real this time when my dad pulls out this truck and I pull this thing over there. So I'll see you then then. All right, guys, so I'm back and he's about to move the truck. 
So let's check it out. Oh. riding with me. I don't know how if this is gonna stay put or not, but we'll make it work. Emergency brake and everything, just in case I roll back. Anyway, we're done here. All right, now we're gonna go hop in the trunk. I'll do a little montage for you guys on the way over there, and then we'll get there, load up the cars. And that'll be the video, guys. Hello, mother. Okay. Lo quita de que si sabía lo todo quita ya. Mhm. Alright, see you guys there. Right, guys check it out we're at dodge chrysler aka mopar check it out um so apparently sorry my back hurts that ride was uh, it, it took a long time to get here for no point like for no reason because there's a huge ass detour and whatever it's annoying as hell anyway um we're here though and uh yeah one more can i say i don't even know what car we're we gonna get yet Anyway, let's go check out this 392. See if anybody cares. I just walk in this bitch. Check that. Oh man. Oh, it's a whole entire yo. RIP to SRT, yo. Rip SRT. Mm-mm. Too bad SRT is fucked. This is a nice looking car. Look at this. Damn. So this is a normal RT and this is a scat pack. Yeah, RT scat pack. Damn, you can tell. Wow. Honestly, 
These are beautiful ass cars. I'm not gonna cap. These are beautiful ass cars. Oh, I see a Camaro. All right, well, it's been nice, but uh, I, th I think I just saw a Camaro, so gotta go and investigate. <laughs> oh man, of course, the one car that I like, well, I really, really, really like, it's a V6, great. Oh, it's still the same body style though, but whatever, it's a V6. It's dirty as shit. Beautiful cars. I will not lie, they are look great looking cars. They definitely beat the Mustang in my opinion and how great they look and styly, just, just style, aesthetics, great looking car. I wonder if it's open. I don't really wanna check. But oh yeah, yo, look at these meats, boys. God damn, look at the meats on this car. I'm not sure if, there's, if those are if those are 305s or not. Uh, let me check the check if it says anything about 305. No, 275s. Wow, that's a pretty small tire for this big ass car. I wanted it on hook. I got a friend of mine who his dad used to have a 392. He knows who he is, and uh, yeah, I will see why they don't hook. Look at it from for just look at the side profile from here. They're tiny. Anyway, enough about the Challenger and whatever. Oh, we're picking up not a Mopar, we're picking up a damn Toyota Tacoma or some shit. All right. The old ones used to be a lot harder. Ya le bajé la rampa. ¿Qué? Ya bajé la rampa, sí. Ponga camión pidió. Eh, pongo el pidió. Y la última rampa. ¿Y después qué hago? Voy a la vuelta. ¿Ya? No, después lo que hay que hacer nada más que levantar la cobrita atrás. Para sacar los pasadores y dejarla caer. Ah, yo, yo estoy ahí nada más que tú. A ver. ¿Quieres poner el pidió allá? A ver. He just told me to put PTO. If you don't know what PTO is, it basically allows the truck to send power to a trailer so we can move the trailer around and do shit with it. I'll show you. Hola, mom. Di Lola. Hola. Hi. Yeah. Um, PTO. fucking coming. Damn. Mario. God damn. What is that? Fucking. <laughs> what the hell? Let's get some straps. And let's get over there. I wish I could record a video where we're carrying, we're loading up more than one car on a trip, but sadly we're not, so. Oh well, but hey, I mean, what can I do? I'm planning on this summer going on a whole trip with him. I've done this about a million times. So, planning on recording it, you know. Oh, on my Instagram, I have a clip of last trip me and my brother were sitting, we were sleeping in this Jaguar and shit was funny as hell. Oh man, that was funny. What's up, What in what levanto? What? De este para acá? Porque este trailer, este trailer es diferente, no sé. No sé cómo usarlo. ¿Sí? Ah, okay. All right. 
I don't know how this thing works yet, so again, learning along the way. Anyway, fat ass to come. I just bought me my new fat ass to come, you know what I'm saying? What is this shit? V6. Perfect. It's a manual? I know I didn't see the manual in there. That's not a man. Oh, it looks like a manual from here. What about to say? What the fuck? Tolo so yo so. Alright. Well, this is also a new one because you guys haven't seen me put on straps. But you see me put them, it's like you take them off and I put them on. So you just take this one and put it to the closest one to the wheel. And then you yank it up, up and around to the middle of the wheel. You bring it all the way down. Damn, gotta ruin my video. Someone's probably dying though. Yeah. Uh huh. Wow. That was just for him to run the light. Wow. Pretty tight enough. Tamen cadenas. Ah, alguna hueco aquí, mira. Para tu ver, alguna hueco aquí. Sí, no, 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 Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Just like that, we got a car loaded onto the trailer. All right, I'll meet you guys back. Bye bye, yeah, to meet them. Bye bye. All right, all right, well, I'll meet you guys back at the farm. We're done for today. Whoa, my bad, guys. I forgot about you guys. I uh, forgot to record an outro for you guys. I took a shower and went straight to bed after work. Anyway, um, my bad. But I'm gonna do it right now. So if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, you know, if you want to see some more videos, 
I got one about cleaning my two strokes uh, motor, the motorized bike carburetor. I got a video on that. My most popular video, can we get it to 100 views? I'll celebrate it, I'll make something about it. Anyway, or you could watch my latest video, like the one before this one, um, on me repairing the, my 94 box trucks. Uh, electrical problem, I was misfiring a lot. So yeah, replace all eight spark plugs. So yeah, if you're interested in that, go check that out. Really appreciate it. But apart from that, I don't know. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, love you guys. Have a great day. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.